Hi, I'm Josh Taylor, Product Manager with Cable Express, and it's time for Cable Talk. I'm Brittany Zulis, Infrastructure Design Specialist, and today we're going to talk about the importance of port replication. In a structured cabling system, port replication is used to replicate the active ports in a passive environment. This creates a one-to-one -one relationship from the active hardware ports to the passive structured cabling environment. The replicated ports are typically placed in the MDA or main distribution area. This is key for staying in compliance with the TIA 942 standards. This allows for a consolidated passive environment where ads, moves, and changes can take place with ease. Port replication in the MDA has many benefits, which include using short jumpers for connecting up hardware, and also you don't have to order custom long length jumpers. It makes things a lot easier, a lot less planning. No lifting of floor tiles or going into an overhead conveyance system. And remember, it keeps you out of the active hardware, which are much more expensive. And all of this is to minimize downtime, downtime because, because nobody, nobody wants that. that. Cable Express has been working with data center enterprise customers for over 30 years. That's why we understand that it's really important to replicate the active switches exactly. Let's go up to our lab area and check out some of the fiber enclosures. This H-Series module replicates a 64-port brocade blade. Notice the port orientation. It's identical to how brocade does theirs. These two H-Series modules replicate a 32-port Cisco blade. This can be done either horizontally or vertically. Note the port numbering matches the manufacturer. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. For more information, visit us at www.cableexpress.com. Respect layer one.